What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing a regional report um, on my Thunder Dragon deck that I took to the Richmond, Virginia Regional. Um, I got my invite, uh, fortunately, but I did pretty bad um, for my standards. Um, so, I mean, I shouldn't be too upset since I got my invite after going to like three other events before this. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'll get on with the deck and then I'll go through my matches briefly. So, I played pure Thunder Dragon. I changed my build up from playing Dino Thunder just because I felt like Pure was more consistent at making like Triple Colossus or like Double Colossus Titan which um, I felt was better than having like Titan Colossus and like a Conductor. So yeah, we'll get on with the list. So we play uh, Triple Thunder Dragon, standard for Pure, uh, Triple Dark, uh, Triple Roar, and Triple Hawk. And the triple matrix uh this was the one that i was thinking of cutting to two but um, i decided just to play three just so i can have access to it with like titan and stuff and like in the grind game um being able to normal summon it and uh make link rebo which um spoiler alert i forgot to write that down on my deck list so i wasn't playing it um and then for normal summons we play triple solar um this is like the mvp uh like every time i open like this and hawk i would make like um triple colossus or like double colossus um number 38 which is like insane uh, triple of the wolf guy, um, lone wolf or whatever he's called. Um, this card was pretty good too. Um, a lot of times it just got me, uh, like there was one play where I made, um, Titan and I banished a Danko Sekka and then I, this was popped. Um, and then I uh, got the Danko Sekka back. So that was pretty cool. It was like a way to like recycle Danko against Striker. But, um, it's other effect is pretty good too. Cause against Striker, uh, it's cost to banish from your hand. So, um, if they like Widow Anchor this, you can still banish like a Roar or Hawk or um, Dark from hand and get the effect. Um, and then we play for one ofs. We play the one Chaos Dragon Levineer. This card was insane against Striker. Um, like um, setting up the chain link so they can't uh, Widow Anchor this. Uh, the one duo because I play the combo with uh, number 38. And then the one Danko. Um, a lot of times against Striker, I would like shotgun the, uh, the Thunder Dragon Fusion and the next turn search for Danko and just like activate Danko. Oh, well, they have like double widow anchor, which is pretty good. And then I just played two Ash. Um, I don't want to play too many hand traps because I felt like Danger Thunder was the only deck that like warranted playing a lot of hand traps, which I sided accordingly for that. Um, spells, since we're playing pure, uh, triple instant fusion, uh, just to get um, restrict, um, commonary attack, or um, what's this? Um, uh, Raid, Rage in, which I didn't play, but um, I saw some list playing it. Um, but yeah, that's an option. Um, it's just really good going first or second, because first, um, it could be a combo extender, and going second, you can, like, uh, take a Colossus. And then I played, uh, Triple Allure for, um, just a plus, like, um, and now that we're playing the Wolf Guy, he's a dark target, too. So, like, worst case scenario, you can always banish him. Uh, we played two Fusion, um, I saw some list playing three, and I was testing out three, but, um, I felt like it was too cloggy, um. You really only want to resolve one and then just uh, search off of it. So, and it's searchable with dark. So, uh, the one gold sark, uh, just because it's that one. I didn't play brilliant fusion because I felt like it was dead, like just playing one brilliant, one amber. So, I cut that completely. Um, triple infinite impermanence, uh, the standard. And then my tech, which didn't really come up, it wasn't really that good. Uh, two solemn strike. Um, I was thinking, like, against Striker, this is, like, another form of disruption. Um, against the Mirror Match, you can, like, hit a Colossus or hit their, like, key normal summon, like a Solar. Um, but I only saw it once, and it was against Guru, which uh, didn't really come up. Um, that's the main deck. It's 40 cards. I'm going with the extra. So, we have a bunch of tokens. Um, play uh, Triple Colossus, standard. Um, I did play uh, Triple Titan. Uh, which should have been a Link Rebo. Um, but, um, yeah, I didn't really need three because you can always just recycle it. So this should be a Link Rebo. And also it's going to mirror match because you can, like, um, like use their discard to pop stuff. So then I play one Restrict, one Common Ari Attack just for the Institution targets. And then for Links, we play one Wii Witches just for the uh, Lone Wolf combo. Uh, Nightmare Package, Mermaid, Phoenix, and... Unicorn, one Sum Summoner uh, for the only Link 4 Boar Load, because I feel like it's only needed against like a mirror match. Uh, and then 138, uh, just for the combo, which is good. Um, I saw a deck list on DZ's channel where um, one of his friends played this 
hard and it was like really good today. Um, I'll explain that later. Um, so after, and then the side, we have two effect veilers. This is just for the uh, like guard dragon deck along with the triple driver and the one, um, yeah, or triple gamma one driver. Um, I only sided this in once against the Orcus deck. It was like Orcus Danger. Um, so it only came up once. So yeah, I didn't really play against any like combo decks. It was mostly like grindy back row decks, which uh, this card came in clutch, the Dusters. I put this in like every game, um, pretty much. Same thing with Eradicator. Uh, I only resolved this once, and um, the other times I saw it, it got uh, hit with Fiendus. And then triple evenly. This card was like subpar. Um, like I saw it at times, but like I knew my opponent had like Fiendus or my opponent had uh, the Salaman Great Counter Trap. So that's it for the side deck. Uh, next for matches, um, I played against a lot of Striker. I played against like three Striker. I lost to one because I forgot about Kaina. How in time he just gained like 100 life points and just passed over to me. Um, and then the other two times uh, I just beat him because I was able to like out resource them and just like Sudden Colossus um, and like Danko them. Um, and my other two losses were against Salaman Great because honestly, like I didn't really know what the deck did. Um, I should have known because it just came out that everyone was gonna be playing it, but I was like, I think everyone just be playing like Striker, which um, so yeah, those were my other two losses because I, I really didn't prepare for it enough. Um, and then I played against one Guru Control, I beat that. Uh, Cyber Dragon, I beat that. I beat a True Draco player, I think. And then when I played one Orcus, Guard Dragon, Thunder Dragon deck, which um, Effect Veiler Ash is pretty much what won me that game. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like that deck profile. Let me know in the comments below if you change anything. Uh, the only thing I really wanted to change in the main was the uh, Strikes. But other than that, yeah, I think it worked pretty uh, pretty well. Um, I just need to test against Sound Men great. So hopefully in the future, I'll either make a Prank Kid deck uh, or an Altergeist deck, and I'll have those tailored more for the uh, Salamangra deck. So yeah, thanks uh, for watching, guys.